Hey, I got sent over a diesel heater to check out. I'm gonna use it out in the shed and use it for camping when I go camping. Let's open it up and see what we have. We have a air heater KW 2.05.0 manual. Never had one of these, so I don't really know what to expect. Got some uh, vents. This would be for your hose. So we'll get this out of the box here. Comes with a remote control, which is really nice if you like camping and it starts getting colder. Instead of having to get up, go outside the tent and uh, adjust it, you have a little remote. So that'll be really nice. Also, these display right here, if you're going to mount this like in an RV or somewhere like that, you can take that off and mount this in a separate location. I thought that was a cool little thing. Have our vent. This is where it's going to blow the hot air out right here. Here on the back, this is where we will wire it in. And it does have a plug here. On the underside here, we have our exhaust outlet and our fuel line. It has a very solid construction. Not too heavy. Now, the fuel capacity on this is 1.3 gallons. So, it should last all night and... Maybe part of the next night. It'll last a while. Comes with your exhaust hose. This is a flexible hose. Comes with your muffler. I have read that you can use a muffler and it makes it a little quieter or you can leave it off. Just whatever you want to do. But it will attach onto here and then un attach to the bottom. Has your hose clamps. Okay, you have your vent hose and your vent you can turn this to whichever direction you need it like a air conditioner vent in your car or something like that take this in and put it in your hose just like that you'll take this put it on here just like so and you'll take your other end get your hose clamp put it on here Tighten that down i'll show you how to do that your hose clamp put it on there put this on there and then you can just tighten your hose clamp up and that will hold it onto the heater. And this will vent inside your tent. It is flex tube. If you need one longer, you can uh, probably attach a small dryer vent hose and uh, be able to run that inside your tent. You don't want to put the whole heater in your tent. Just run the vent in your tent or in your storage shed or workshop, whatever. If you're just using this in a workshop, you probably wouldn't even need this hose. You just run it straight out. Just want to make sure you have a lot of ventilation if you're going to use it in the shop without it being vented from the outside. Okay, now we've kind of covered the basics. Um, we're going to get the uh, air intake line hooked up, and then we will get the exhaust line hooked up. First thing you're going to do is put your hose clamp on here. And these are bented over here on the side a little bit, so you can put your screwdriver through there. You'll see why in just a moment. You'll notice on one of your outlets, it has an arrow pointing out. That's going to be your exhaust. So this side's going to be your intake. Put your hose clamp on here and put your hose on here. And this is why this is bented. So you can run your screwdriver right through here and tighten that hose clamp up. Run this out the side here. Get your other hose clamp. Put it on here. Because now we are going to put the air intake filter on here. This just kind of filters out any bugs and whatnot. Just put this on here, twist it around. Now we can tighten our clamp up here. Now, basically, you'll do the same thing with your exhaust. Put your hose clamp on here. Put it on the outlet on the bottom side here. Okay, now we will tighten this hose clamp up. You can get, might go ahead and get that started. That way you don't have to uh, try to squeeze in there real tight and keep your screwdriver. These are Phillips head screws as well. That would probably be a little easier. Just get that up in there. And we will get it on up into place and hold it there and get it tightened up the rest of the way. Get that on there. Now you can take this and bend it now because this is a flex hose. So you can bend it on around. You don't have a lot of room between the foot of the heater and the ground, so you need as much room there as you can get. Straighten that out. Now you can take your muffler 
And if you will look real close, there is a drain hole right here. You want this pointing down. So if any moisture gets in here, it will go down and out. Get your hose clamp, put it on here. Get this worked in there. Like so, like I said, make sure that bent is pointing down. And we'll tighten this hose clamp up. You know, be sure and remove this plastic film off here before you actually use it. Keep from melting it and stinking very badly. And that is pretty much it. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you run your intake filter out one side and not out the same side as your exhaust and you'll be ready to go. All you gotta do is get it wired up to a power supply, get your fuel going, and get her started. Now, as far as your control panel and your remote, the instruction manual covers that really well. So just get that out. It's really easy, nothing to it. So just getting it primed and uh, get to camping and working out in your shed or whatever you need to do when it gets cold. So there you have it. That is the diesel heater. It's easy to assemble, nothing really to it. Nothing major at all. Easily used and uh, putting out some heat. It's a thumbs up. Hey, I am Amazon Associate. So any qualifying purchases that you may make through any of my Amazon links, I will receive a small commission from. Thanks for watching.